Hey, this is Will from Lifter LMS. In this video, I'm gonna to touch on how you can find the short code for your Lifter LMS custom fields. So on all the Lifter LMS forms, we have the default uh, purchase information, you know, email address, password, first name, address. These are part of the free core Lifter LMS plugin. But if you're using the Lifter LMS custom fields add-on, that will give you the ability to add more fields. So we have checkboxes, radio buttons, text area, all kinds of options here. And in my case, I'm using a text area field and I'm calling it license number. So maybe if I'm offering continuing education, I wanna collect license number on checkout and then print that on a certificate. Uh, when the student completes the course, I can do that with this text field. And if I click on my license number field here, you can see we have this user meta key. Now that's the, the key of the field um, in the user meta table. So you know each user has a first name, a last name, an address, and now they have a license number. And that's represented with this meta key here. So if I wanted to display a student's license number, maybe on a certificate, for example, let me go create a certificate and we'll add in that short code. So my certificate and the short code is LLMS dash user space and then the meta key. So in my case, it's text underscore 11 underscore 98. And of course you could change this if you wanted it to be license number, for example. So let's update that real quick. That'll just make it a little bit easier um, to understand here, license number. And of course we should put an underscore in there instead of a space. So we'll go ahead and update. And there we go. So license number is now the meta key for my field there. So LLMS dash user, and then the meta key. And that's all I need for my shortcode. Let me go ahead and publish the certificate and let's take a look at it. Now currently it's blank, but I don't believe my user has a license number. So let me go edit my profile real quick, give myself a license number and that will display. So here under my profile, this is my license number. I'm gonna go ahead and update my profile. And now if I reload the certificate here, it displays my license number. So that's really all you need to do to create the short code for your um, custom fields. And you can also find a full list of your short codes on any page in a paragraph block. Currently at the moment, this little dropdown is in a paragraph block. And so if we go to short codes right here, we can see a full list of all the short codes, including you can see my license number right there at the bottom, along with all of the other available short codes. But that's about it on how you can find the short code for your Lifter LMS custom fields. I'm Will Middleton from Lifter LMS. Thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.